Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am using 4.5 mm cachet hook and a ball of the half of the wool yarn. Let's get started crocheting. Let's crochet the pattern. I will begin from the foundation chain, make a chain of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 9, 18. My foundation chain is ready. Make a chain more and make single crochet into the second chain stitch away from the hook and single crochet into the E chain stitch of the foundation chain. So keep working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete this row with me. Once I have done the last stitch, insert the hook into the last chain stitch. Pattern consists of two stitches and has two rows. You can add any amount of chains. Let's crochet a row of my unique stitches. Make a chain of four, one, two, three, four. Turn the work. Skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch. And make extended double crochet. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch make double crochet not finish then double crochet not finish into the next stitch and double crochet through the next stitch then yarn over pull through first three loops then yarn over pull through two loops yarn over the hook Insert the hook around the three stitches. Pull up a loop to the level of the chain. One. Four my puff stitches. One, two. So it should be the same level. Three. Then yarn over, pull through. My puff stitch is ready. I do not finish the stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the same stitch, make double crochet, not finish. One. Continue. Make the next double crochet through the next stitch. I do not finish the stitch and double crochet, not finish through the next one. Pull through three loops at once and pull through two loops. Then make the puff stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the stitch. One, two, three, and pull through all loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, make double crochet not finish. Then double crochet not finish through the next stitch. And the third double crochet not finish. Pull through three loops at once and pull through two loops. And make three strings one, two, three. Pull through loops on the hook. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. I'm about to complete row two. Make some stitches. Make three double crochet not finish one, two, and three. Pull through three loops at once and pull through two loops. And make three strings one, two, three. Pull through. Here what I have. 
yarn over the hook the yarn two stitches make the first extended double crochet and make the second one through the next stitch Here what I have at this point. Then I'm going to work with row of single crochet stitches. Make a chain to earn the work and make single crochet into the each chain stitch and make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Here what I have. I work with both loops. Keep working in this way till the end of this row, then I will show you how to complete it. It is row 3. Let's complete it. Make single crochet into the stitch of the previous row. Insert the hook into the fourth chain stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4. And make single crochet. Don't forget about the last chain stitch. Or this is the first chain stitch from the top. Here what I have at this point. Pattern consists of two stitches and has two rows. One row is single crochet stitches and the second one is my unique stitch. Let's repeat one more time. Chain of 4 to bring up the yarn 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn the work. Yarn over the hook. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook to the second stitch. Make extended double crochet or double crochet on the chain. Yarn over the hook. Make 3 double crochet, not finish. 1, 2, three pull through three loops at once and pull through two loops and make three strings one two three pull through continue and work into the same stitch make double crochet not finished then double crochet not finished through the next stitch and the third one through the next stitch pull through three loops pull through two loops and three strings one two three pull through let's repeat one more time start from the last stitch make three double crochet not finish one two three pull through three loops pull through two loops Make puff stitch one, two, three, pull through loops on the hook. Keep working this way till the end of this row. I'm about to complete row four. Let's repeat last stitches one, two, and three. Pull through three loops, pull through two loops, and make the puff stitch. One, two, three, pull through. So make the first extended double crochet or double crochet on the chain, and make the second one through the next stitch. Here what I have at this point. Then I'm working on the row with single crochet stitches. Make a chain, turn the work. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. 
Keep working this way till the end of this row. Let's complete this row with me. Make some single crochet one and single crochet into the fourth chain stitch from the bottom. Turn the work. It is going to be a row of unique stitches. I will begin and you will continue with your one as many times as you need. Make chain of four to bring up the yarn. Turn the work. Make extended double crochet or double crochet on the chain. Make chain and double crochet. And three double crochet in a row. I will start from the previous stitch. Pull through three loops, pull through two loops, and make half stitch one, two, three, pull through. So you should continue working on this pattern as many times as you need for your personal project. My pattern consists of two rows and has two stitches. Continue with your own. So that's it, my swatch is ready. It could be perfect to create cluster or blanket or another accessories or it could be pattern for clothes. Pattern consists of two stitches and has two rows. This is the front side of the swatch. And let's look at the back side. I remind you all additional information about another video tutorials, tools that I'm using in the each video tutorials could be found in the description of this video tutorial. You can crochet from the bottom to the top or from the left to the right also it could be perfect for accessories for spring time please write comment below this video what you will get with me and where you will use this pattern for me it's very interesting thank you so much for watching see you next time and good luck in crocheting Bye.